Hey guys, Natalie here. Welcome back to the second section of this video. And guys, in this section, we are going to be talking about the consequences of complaining. The things which complaining does to you, the complainer, and to the people around you. Point number one is complaining isolates you from the rest of the world. All of a sudden, nobody wants to hang out with you again because you're always complaining. When people come around you, all you want to do is complain. They've done this, they've done that, and people are just so tired of you. They are so drained, and nobody wants to be around you. Have you ever wondered why everybody else was invited to that birthday party or to that wedding and you were not invited? It's because of your attitude. Because you go there and start complaining about everything, what people are wearing, irrelevant things. The last thing people want on their wedding day is to invite the negative Nancy to come and start complaining about their wedding gown. Another thing which always complaining does to you is the fact that it's like you're shooting yourself in the foot. You know, as humans, we are social beings. We have to network with people in order to get to the places where we want to be. Somebody can quit a company and I know they need a secretary. I can easily pick my phone and be like, hey, Mary, somebody's hiring. Please submit your application to www.whatever. But if you're the person who is always complaining, Miss Perfect, Miss Universe, people are not going to want to be resourceful to you. People are not going to want to help you. Because they'll feel like, hey, she's perfect, so she might as well know how to get a job. And people will not want to help you. So you want to make sure you are not that kind of person, always complaining, always claiming to be perfect. Because that way you're basically shooting yourself in the foot. Another thing which always complaining does is that it's like setting a trap for yourself. You've made yourself out to be this infallible, incorrigible person. You're over the top. Every other person is down here. So we will remain down here where you've put us and we will hold you up to your standards. Since you say you're perfect, we imperfect people are just going to be here watching you where you're perfect. And we expect you to stay perfect forever. Because the day you're going to make a mistake or the day you're going to fall, the people on this other curve of the ball are going to laugh at you hysterically. More so, you'll find that if you're the person who is always complaining, even your own happiness diminishes. So complaining always is the ultimate recipe for misery. you find yourself always miserable, always angry, always mad. So you want to make sure you're not complaining always. By complaining, you make your own self bitter. You make your spirit mad and your entire existence is just sad. Make sure you're not the person who always complains. Also, if you're always complaining, it means you're creating negative energy around you. You're oozing a lot of negativity and your aura is just negative. Nobody wants to be around that. That's a lot of baggage to deal with. You don't want to be around a person who all the time all they do is complain. It's draining. Nobody wants that. So make sure you're not the person who is always complaining because you're creating negative energy around you and the people around you are feeling uncomfortable. Now we are going to talk about what complaining always does to the people around you. Point number one, complaining all the time is demoralizing. Like everybody around you will just be feeling so bad, so low, so sad. When you're always complaining, you're killing people's vibe. You know how you guys can be in the party, enjoying, having fun, having a good time. All of a sudden, this negative person shows up and she says just one thing. Just one thing and it spoils the entire environment. It kills the entire party vibe and everybody all of a sudden just wants to leave. Everybody's just picking their back and going like, girl, I can't deal with this. Too much negativity. I can't deal with it. You don't want to be that person. You don't want to be that person where every time you show up, people leave. You don't want to be that person every time you're in the living room, everybody runs to the bedroom. You don't want to be that person. It doesn't reflect good on you. It doesn't show good about you. So be mindful of who you are and how you deal with people. Another thing which complaining does is that it creates depression. If you are that person, every time you show up, you're negative, making every other person feel sad, feel bad, feel miserable, know you're creating depression. And you want to be mindful of that. You don't want to be the reason why somebody fell into depression. You don't want to be the reason why somebody committed suicide. Have you ever stopped to wonder for a reason why the rate of depression has gone up in recent times? It's because of everyday people like you and I, the things we say to people, how we make them feel, how we crush their spirits. So you want to be mindful of the way you talk to people. Even when you have a message to give somebody, make sure you season it with a little bit of salt. Make sure you say it in a way that is not emasculated. So those are some of the things which always complaining does to you and to the people around you. And you don't want to be that person. Rather, what you should do is invest and recognize the greatness in people. People also have good attributes. People also have positive sides to them. Look at the positive sides. Remember human beings come in a binary manner. There's a good, there's a bad. Discard the bad, focus on the good. Focus on all the wonderful things they've done. 
Focus on all the positive attributes. Even the worst person on earth has a good side to them. So scout through, look for that good aspect and magnify it. Appreciate them and tell them they can do it. Tell them they can be better. And that way you're encouraging them. That little appreciation you're giving them can go a long way to make them become a better person. So instead of complaining, try to invest in recognizing the good in people, recognizing the greatness in people, recognizing the kindness and just generally their positive attributes. And that brings us to the end of the second part of this video. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please click the red subscribe button below because that's how you let us know you love us. That's how you let us know you appreciate us. That's how you let us know you have a little respect for the time and effort we put into making these videos. So thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. See you in the next section of this video. That's part three. Thank you. Bye.